welcome all. I am Maria and this is LA Juno's Crafting Corner. It has been a while and I apologize. It's been a crazy month. Um, today I am doing a whip parade. So if you are new here, um, you get to see everything that I've been working on this year. Um, and the ones that I was working on next year, you get to see the progress I made. If you are a returning viewer, I want to thank you for coming in, and I hope you enjoy the video today. I'm going to apologize right now. I'm a little wheezy. My, um, I have used my inhaler this morning. It hasn't kicked in. Happens in the winter time. Um, so, apologize. I'm not 100%, but if I don't get it recorded, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Oh, oh, excuse me. Alrighty. So, around. So we are going to go ahead and start off with my progress. I am going to be showing my kitten and the rose. It is a heaven and earth design done by Zindi Nelson. This was, this is the picture. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. This is what I had at the beginning of the year. I was at, um, let's see, I started this in 2021. It is 20, it was 24% done. I am up to 31% done. I'll show you what I've done. I was trying to complete this row this year. Um, I didn't quite make it. I have that to finish. But it's not crazy. It's not, I didn't do too bad, I feel. Put in quite a few stitches. As you can tell, this is going to be a huge project. So, there's that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so the next one that I'm going to show is my Dream of Being, Being Human by Dakota Diller. It's a Heaven and Earth design. Um, they are retired from Heaven and Earth, though, so it is no longer available. Oh, sorry, I was stitching. Uh, Kitten in the Rose is stitched on um, 25 count, one over one full cross. On Lugata fabric. I try to remember to say that every time. Um, and then the Dreaming of Being Human is 25 count, one over one full cross as well. Um, this is my progress from last year. Um, this year uh, I was at 4% last year. I am at 8% this year. This is what the full picture is going to look like. It is a gorgeous picture, but it is confetti. <laughs> it is confetti hell. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is where I'm at. I believe I've made a good bit of progress on this this year. And there's that. Gotta make sure I fold them back up so I can put them back in the bag. <laughs> Keep them safe and secure. All right, so the next one I'm going to show. Do I don't have any prior pro progress on this pictures. Uh, I just started this. <clears throat> I started this the last week of December, so I don't have any progress pictures of it. Um, but this is what it's going to look like. Um, and this year I end up getting a 24% done on it. And this is where I'm at. So I've got his ears complete, all the way across, and now I'm starting here, which should come across his forehead. So we're working on it. I will say I'm planning on putting a good chunk of progress, like this is my main focus piece. 
because <clears throat> unfortunately I have not been cross stitching like I used to. I tend to knit more than anything nowadays, so I'm making more plans on what I'm going to be cross stitching instead of just whatever I feel like. Because um, by the time I figure out what I feel like, I'm back to knitting. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. Do what you like. Do what you enjoy. That's all that matters. All right. My second project I'm going to show you is my dragon. It's called Two Dragons. It was. A, it is a pattern on Etsy. I am stitching it on 22 count, one over one full cross. This was where I was at last year, at the end of the year, my whip for in my 2021 whip parade and this is what the full picture is going to look like which I should show that first not second oh well but that's what the full picture is going to look like and I started the year I was at 13 percent as of now I am at 46 percent I hit what I wanted to with this one I wanted to get all the way across and I made it all the way across. Oops, people are waking up. <laughs> all right. And then the only, the last one I have that I start, I was working on last year is my pandemic. I was, this is the picture. This is a long dog sampler. Um, it is pattern pandemic. It is stitched on 28 count, one over one full cross. And last year, at the end of the year, I was at 7.6%. That was what I had done. And this year, I've gotten up to 25%. And this is where I'm at. So I've made it all the way across, and then I've started working down. So I believe that was some really good progress on that this year. <clears throat> all right. So that is all that I had from last year. Everything else was started this year. Uh, okay, so I have blue, uh, blue rose. That is this one. It is by Linda Prendle. It is a stitch on 32 count, one over one full cross. I have made it to 6%. I am here. It's a lot of colors, very beautiful colors. Looking forward to seeing it progress. All right. <clears throat> and then the next one I have is my Sans Seuss. Um, that is another long dog sampler. It is being stitched on 28 count, one over one full cross. And it is being stitched with Silk for You Silk. And I do not remember the color of my silk. Um, I am bad about that and I did not write it down. Um, I have gotten to 20% on... Wait, yeah, that's 20%. I've gotten to 20% on this. This is where it's at. I really love those colors. Yeah, um, I've gotten the 20%. I've gotten all the way across on this one, and now I'm working down. <laughs> mm, excuse me. My next one that I'm going to show is um, this one. It is Mini Canopy Heart by Heaven Earth Designs. Um, I am loving this one. I have got to 9.8% on it. 
so far this year. I'm doing it on 28 count, one over one tenth stitch, and I am doing it on bright red fabric. This is called Christmas Red Stroblin fabric here, and I just love the background. <clears throat> All right. The next one I have to show is this one. It is another heaven and earth design. It is a skull and a rose. I've gotten about 0.9% done on it. I've not got very much done on this one. Um, I will get back to it. I haven't forgot about it. This one, I think what's throwing me off is that it's it's gaps in the middle of it, so I've been trying to park with it, and I think I'm going to have to start doing more of a cross country with it, because the parking and uh, everything I think is throwing me off, because it's just, it's not a full piece, it's not full coverage, so, but I'm looking forward to getting that complete. I think that's a beautiful pattern, and I dyed my own fabric. This is 20, 28 count, and it's one over one tent stitch. I had to think there for a second. I couldn't remember. All right, so the next one I have is my owl. This is a pattern by Stitch and Jewels Designs. She's on Etsy. She also has her own website and she has a YouTube channel. So um, she has so many different types of designs, a lot of monochrome. So if you love monochrome stitching, you need to go check her out. But she has some awesome ones. I am at 11% done this year on this. I have the eyes. The eyes are looking at you. But I'm loving the look of this and loving the design. Um, this is 32 count, one over one tent stitch. Um, I'm stitching this a little weird. I'm like stitching all the way across and then the parking below. So, but I haven't really discussed my stitching methods. <laughs> it's whatever I feel like on the pattern that I'm working on. <laughs> oh, I need to pull that down. My next one. This was supposed to be a Christmas present this year. Didn't make it. Should be that one. Yeah. This. Um, it is no longer available on Etsy. I don't believe, but this is the pattern. It's my rainbow dog. I am at 54% complete on this this year. <coughs> It is turning out gorgeous. So, um, yeah. Like I said, it was supposed to be a Christmas present, but I was not getting it finished in time. So I've decided I'm just going to take my time and enjoy stitching on it instead of kind of trying to stress and end up hating it. <laughs> I didn't promise it to anyone. It was just a goal in my head. All right, my next one is um, Tulip. This was also supposed to be a Christmas present, but like it's the same thing. I'm not going to stress myself on trying to get things done. Um, takes the enjoyment out of stitching, but this is where I'm at on this. So I've got all the outside border ring round, almost got the middle inside border, working on the outside border and started a little bit on the flower inside but <clears throat> Doo -doo -doo. Um, the flower I'm 46% done on um, I have two other projects I've got this one this is a heaven and earth design with the red bookmark I am 52% done on this one I have not worked on this one I don't think I've touched this project since January. So, I've got 
that that one, not January, June, sorry, <laughs> words, um, and then I've got, where is it, did I put it in here, might not, I don't know if I have a picture of the winter, nope, there it is, Oh, it shows I have this. So that's where I was at last year at the end of the and when I did my thing. That is what it's going to look like. Oh, and this is where I'm at. So as you can tell, I got quite a bit more done. I got the house almost done. Um, good chunk here done this is being stitched on linen um, I really need to get this back out and work on it I'm, I actually forgot I had it when I was digging through finding all my projects I found it <laughs> it's like oh yeah I remember that and then um, I have my counted or my pictured Cross stitch. I've got this flower done and this flower done. And that's about it on my cross stitch. Um, yeah, that is everything I've got cross stitch wise. Um, I did have a couple of finishes this year. I finished the my multi cat and I finished a bird. Um, I do not have them where I can show them, and I apologize. Um, I'll see if I can find pictures of them completed eventually, and uh, maybe show them. I know I have shown them in past videos, um, but they've already been handed out, so I can't, <laughs> I can't show them. All right, everybody, that is the end of me. I am going to go and get me something to drink to see if I can clear up a little more of this hazy uh, asthma crap. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So hopefully you enjoy the video. I hope you have a great week, a great year, and hopefully I get a stitch with me in, um, on Thursday or Friday this week that is my goal maybe do a live I don't know I don't want to make any I don't want to make any promises but I am going to I do have a couple of days off this week so I'm going to try and do a stitch with me um, and just kind of do catch up because I've been <laughs> it's been a while it's been a couple of weeks since I had a stitch with me so hopefully you enjoy the video um, I hope everybody has a great year rest of the year and a good new year and I will see everybody next time. Bye everybody.